Oh, you guys wanted me to check out the skeleton cave. I think I saw... Yep, that's a skeleton right there. That's a ribcage. That indeed is a ribcage. Whoever thought it would be funny to send me down here, I'm going to have a fight with you. We're going to fight mano to mano, my man, for telling me to come over here to this weird skeleton cave with ribcages hanging out. I don't want to be here, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Green Hell. I'm your host, the Berg, Notice Falcon. I'm back with a couple of more locations you guys told me to check out. Uh, number one, people are like, Falcon, get rid of that freaking bidon, dude. This right here takes up so much spot, it'll like, spot? It, take, it takes up so much spot? It takes up so much spot in your inventory, in your backpack, I guess, and it only carries 40 water. It's a better one for you, apparently, at 4417, so we're going there today. Before we go, I actually wanted to go at nighttime, even though I'm a little bit tired, but I want to light up the, the freaking torch because I have a torch and I've never once lit up my torch in this entire game so let me get a little bit of shut I here wake your ass up before it's too early because I want to be able to like you know take advantage of the torch it's already kind of like lit up because of the moon but that's fine let's see here I think my torch is over here how do you work ignite okay oh, oh hey it's the first time I've ever let this bad boy up okay I'm not sure how much how long you last I'll tell you that on the bottom right cool well if we're going uh where we're going we're going oof that is lit up 4417. After that, we have another place I'm going to check out afterwards. But um, as I've mentioned before, if you guys want to continue playing this at least until they add more content, leave me some tips or ideas or places I'm going to check out and I will do it. Because right now I've kind of like run out of things to kind of really do. So I'm kind of judging. I'm going by based on what you guys are suggesting to do at this point. So we need to go north for 17 south and 44. So we have to go northeast. All right. We should have probably figured out the location where we're going before I lit this torch up. But that's that's fine. I guess I don't have to dig through here. Do we have a... Hey, we have a piranha. Piranha, it's your lucky day because I got places to be. So for now, you get to survive. Oh, coconuts falling. I like how the, the, the torch effect makes sudden certain plants. Like, you see that radioactivity glow right there? <laughs> That's the same effect that happens when you're actually um, using the campfire near plants. It'll give it, like, this really weird radiant glow. And apparently the torch is the same type of, like, um, lighting mechanic as the torch. Oh, you see that? Woohoo! A lot of weird graphical glitches happening right now. Um, can I pick stuff up as I'm going? Because mushrooms could be pretty good for carbohydrates. So I might as well pick those guys up. Yeah, it seems that for the most part, every mushroom in the game, except for the ones that have the weird little webbing around them, are good. So even the neon green ones are... Actually, the neon green ones specifically are a lot better because I think they also give you energy too. So you know what? Oh, these aren't neon green. They're yellow. Well, they look neon green from afar. Maybe they are. I can't even tell because there's a weird lighting effect here. You know what I should do? I should put some volume up? Hold up, hold up. Okay. It feels like too quiet. Which means that I feel like somebody's gonna like sneak up and attack me. Like a jaguar. Natives, they usually do the little uh, native yells. So it's not too bad. But the jaguars. Okay, so 44... 17. We're on the right track, boys. We might get a couple of leeches right here. Which is alright, because we got a torch. You see, those are neon green, but if I get close to them, they become yellow. Oh, you know what it might be? They might be just yellow in general. But they always look neon green to me. Because of the reflection from the sun- um, well, not the sunlight, but the moonlight. You know, what comes out at night, Falcon? Oh, the moon? Yeah. Well, that, that's the light that you're talking about, not the sunlight. You know, it's daytime. Okay. Now. Um, we gotta be really extra careful because... I heard a weird noise. Oh, those might be the, the radicates. Yeah, I called little rats in the game radicates. Because I can. This, this one right there, it's okay. That bird looked like he was like, you know, air humping that log. And if so, I ain't gonna hate on that, buddy. You gotta do what you gotta do here out here in the wilderness. Okay, so it started raining. This is the reason why I've never used a torch in this game, because it constantly rains. So it's kind of like, you know, oh, you can't even keep the torch on long enough to take advantage of it. Okay, so I think um, we've, uh, huh. 44 West. And 17 South. Well, let's go up through here, and then we'll turn off to the other side. And now I'm going to do a little bit of running, which is something I normally am not crazy about, because when you're running, when you're rushing, that's when the bad things happen, such as spider bites and all that stuff, but, I mean... Even if I wasn't running, I mean, not that I'm running right now, but considering the fact that it's really dark, I can't really see too well, I would still probably jump into a spider, so I gotta keep, like, really a keen, close eye on noises. And maybe even particularly find a road would be nice. Okay. 
All right, hold up, hold up. What do we got here? Okay, 44 East. We're, we're making we're making progress for a fact. So we want to go down this way, I would say, and just jump on occasion. Wow, just even walk up us to stone too. That's fun. This guy is multi-talented. Ooh, what is that? Are you a? <gasps> that is a cave. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, you know me. I like to like dive into caves. Because apparently I hate myself and I want to get involved with scorpions all the time. Hey, um, this is intriguing. I've never... Wh wh okay, where is this? 4815. This is not on my list of things to check out. So, I mean, it's probably on the list somewhere. I just haven't gotten to it. Oh, okay. Well, this would be a good plot, a spot for the torch, but obviously I have to turn it on. Let's get a camp. Oh, obsidian st Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to tell me I can't carry the obsidian stone. You, my friend, we need to have a talk right now. Uh, all right, bony bones. You know what? It's fine. I could always hunt. I'm never in a lack of bones. Obsidian stone, though, you randomly run into it, so I got to take advantage of it. Okay, so I think this is like the obsidian stone. I heard a howl, but that's okay. There's no <laughs> whoops here that I know of, so we're fine. All right, let's just go back. So, yeah, this is the Obsidian. I think I've seen, or at least I've read, coordinates for this place. The Obsidian Stone is what they call it, but um, I ran into it by sheer luck alone. So I, I ain't even mad about that. I'm actually quite happy about it. Stone, stone, all right. Well, we should be able to make some really cool tools today. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to set myself over like another Spear Obsidian Stone. Or Obsidian, yeah. Obsidian Spear. A bamboo one. And we'll also get ourselves an obsidian sp torch, not what <laughs> obsidian torch, obsidian axe and all that jazz. I want to get the entire set up that way. So we're still going down this way and we have found the path, so this is good. As long as we follow through here, there should be less of a chance of me running into like, oh, of course, it's over now. I was going to say, less of a chance of me running into a spider. Okay. Well, we can continue going down this way. There's still some road through here. And we are... Why do I always run into you guys when I'm doing these videos to show people stuff? I don't want to see you guys. Okay, we have no problems. As long as you leave me alone, which you have done so for the most part, I don't want to, like, jump into your tribe area. So you know what? We're going to go up this way instead. Please don't be a freaking spider, because there's natives behind me. They'd probably hear me yell. Oh, oh, good. I think we have to go... kind of through there? Oh. I don't want to go through the natives. Okay. We should, I think. I mean, we're still going east no matter what, right? I mean, we're still going 44. We technically want to curve around through here. Ugh. It's just too much vegetation. There could be a spider anywhere. Can we find another dirt path? That's good. Okay. Um. Oh, boys, we're almost here. Okay. We're almost here. We're almost... The hell is that thing over there? What is that? Is that a fallen tree or what? It's a fallen tree. Thank you. Alright, 44... 17. <laughs> okay, well we're kind of going down this way. Whatever... I'm supposed to be fine. Oh yeah, the Badoon, the Badoon. There's a metallic Badoon. Bidon. Oh, there! Oh! Oh, that's right! That's right, the fallen jeep, right. I've seen screenshots of this before. But this is the first time I've actually ran into it myself. That's cool. Alright. Thought I heard some weird buzzing around here. Any buzzing? No? I still haven't run into a freaking, like, you know, um, beehive. <laughs> I've played this game, how long have I survived? I've survived for 15 days. Is that 15 or 19? I think it's 15. 15 days, not one single beehive. It's redonkulous. Okay, excuse me? No. Don't be around here, spider. Let's see about... Don't take your torch out, dog. Let's see about doing... This here, because I... Tobacco leaf, right. Okay, cool. So if we do get bitten by a spider, we have some tobacco leaves to take care of the venom now. Alrighty. So, this is, um, 4417. So if you guys are looking for this Jeep, it apparently will give you this badass, um, bidon. And some more painkillers, too. Let me take those painkillers. Might have to make room for that. Candy bar, no mind if I do. Let me get those. Oh, you're gonna tell me to do the snacks, huh? Alrighty, hold on. I think those restore sanity as well, like the candy bars do. So here's what we can do. I guess we could probably... We wouldn't need sanity at the moment. You guys don't stack? Oh! 
Oh, ho, 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 dude, I, I heard like some weird scratching and tumbling about. I thought it was like some natives creeping up on me. No, no, it was just um, this little spider right there. And by little spider, it means like it's a deadly spider it can kill me. Okay, buddy, I'm just over here observing the jeep and you got to be a jerk and roll up on me. For some reason, I have a feeling today we're going to run into a spider and... You hear that weird noise? Ugh, so annoying. Alright, my friend. Um, I will eventually stab you, it just... Takes a freaking long time. <laughs> the, the aiming system in the game, dog. Look at this! Look at the situation right here. Why you gotta be so weird? Okay, we finally got it. I mean, I don't really even need you, I just wanted to kill you because your presence in this world alongside of me really worries me. If it was up to me, like, none of you would exist. Are you implying genocide in the entire, um, species of spiders? Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I know that they probably have some sort of, like, upside in life. You know, like, the hierarchy of animals in the kingdom, you know, they keep population of a certain thing down. I, I, I swear to God I'm hearing more. I killed one and I feel like I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about killing the spiders because I feel like this is, like, mental torture at this point. Okay, let's put this down over here. We want this guy, you're gonna go and take the water from that. You see, this carries up to 100, so now from... We have 40 from that one, 100, so you could go bye-bye. It's a lot smaller, it carries 100. I'm not even sure how that works out. It's smaller, but it carries some more. Let's not even worry about that stuff. You know what, buddy? I'm just gonna eat you straight up. It gave me some fats, there you go. Alright. So, this was the, the metallic bidon. Thanks a lot for this one, guys. Let's see, next one. We have time for that one? Yeah, we do. 42, 22. It's not too far from here. We just got to keep going south. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I guess we could probably drink some more. You know what I can? not Oh, no, no, no. You can't eat that raw falcon. It's a, it's a freaking spider. You'd have to cook it first, at least. Stop it with the weird noises. Okay, um, we're looking for 42-22. So we'd have to go east a little bit to drop it to 42. And then 22, that way. Okay. So, we're gonna go up through here this time. I would love to find myself a pat because if I saw one spider- Ooh, there's a pat here. If I saw one spider, it means that more must be about. Technically speaking, I'm not even sure why I'm picking these up. Just eat them straight up so we can get the benefit from that. There you go. There you go. I'm getting a little bit tired, but we got some mushrooms for that. We could always divulge in the mushroom farm in here. So, right, we're going this way. Oh, oh my friend, big buddy, you scare the bit- Where? <laughs> Where's it coming from? I think it's back over there. Okay, so you know what? We're going up this way then, okay? It's fine. It's fine. As a matter of fact, don't mind if I get a little bit of higher ground here and just peruse the entire neighborhood. Okay? The bird- Ah! Jeez, that you fell by yourself. I didn't even move. Alright, dog, you gotta work on your balance here a little bit. I guess what we'll do is we'll go behind the jeep after all. And we'll just take this, um, dry lake, maybe, through here. That's just another one of those Picaris, whatever you guys call them. Don't gotta worry about that. Ooh. Is that a parachute? What? I've never seen that before, either. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I've lost my... Oh, no, we're still on the right track. We're still on the right track. Uh, we'll probably go up through that. But before we go up through there, I mean, there's no reason not to explore, right? Because I'm seeing new things here. <gasps> I wonder if you could use this to collect water in some sort of way. Because that's what I would think myself, you know? Use as a water collector. Oh, there's a bunch of... Am I heading up some sort of native camp here? These long sticks stuck to the floor kind of worries me a bit. Huh. Okay, let, let's go up through here and check it out. Just because, like, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to natives, but all these sticks on the road... Can't be good, right? Stop. Please stop. We got something in our body here. Now, people tell me, Falcon, when you're trying to pull stuff off, bring your backpack up. When you're trying to pull leeches off, I'm not sure why. I brought it up. Oh, because it, it highlights exactly for you. Ah. Why, thank you. That's a very good idea. Appreciate it. Oh, we got a cave here. Not really a cave. More of an arch to go through. Okay, well... Um, 42. Well, we got the west down. At this point, it's a matter of just going south. 
down to 22. Alrighty, guys, so I think we're rolling up on whatever this is going to be. Let's see, 42, 22? I'm not sure. Nobody, some, whoever wrote this in the comments didn't exactly tell me what's here. So now I got to use my keen observation skills to figure it out. 42, 21, 42, 22. Okay, so it could be anywhere nearby here. I see, ooh, is that a cave? Oh, you guys wanted me to check out this skeleton cave. I think I saw, yep, that's a skeleton right there. That's a ribcage. That indeed is a ribcage. Whoever thought it would be funny to send me down here, I'm going to have a fight with you. We're going to fight mano to mano, my man, for telling me to come over here to this weird skeleton cave with ribcages hanging out. I don't want to be here, man. But I mean, I took the time to get over here, so <laughs> I guess we got to figure it out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez, Louise. Are you like, what are you? There's shrunken heads. There's shrunken heads. I was going to say, are these like monkey heads? But no, no, I realized that you could take a human head and apparently shrunk it. I've seen it through wrestling. Well, I mean, I haven't done it in like wrestling, but you know, in wrestling, there was a team called the Head Shrinkers when I was growing up. That's what they did, apparently. They, they shrunk people's heads. Ooh, Obsidian Stone. I'll take that. Okay. Now we got to keep our cool here. Don't get, don't get distracted by the Obsidian Stone because there's shrunken heads here in rib cages. Could be some worse things. Ooh, okay. Well, we got more stone. Oh, of course it would happen. You know what I should do? I should just get rid of this spear now and make myself another one with the stone. I should, but I'm not because I'm, I'm a very lazy man. Huh. Oh. Dude, there's a passage down there, too. There's no way I get stuck if I go down there, right? Okay, well, let's go down through here first and maybe... Maybe... Oh, my God. So much subsidian stone. Stop teasing me. Can we make something happen right now from the Subsidian Stone? Can we, like... Alright, look, Doug. Let's be honest here. Regular Stone? You're like a dime a dozen. Obsidian? Return to me. There you go. I know there's one behind me, but whatever. <laughs> look at that, I stacked them up, too. That's kind of cool. Alright. I will take... Dude! Oh, come on! <laughs> it's like they take up one per spot, they don't stack like the regular stones. The game knows how good they are. I'm not even sure why I have that spoon for. I don't think it's even implemented in the game just yet. This is like a really eerie cave system. And I'm having doubts about being here now. Oh. It just never ends. Okay. Yeah, we're underneath now. Okay, so this is underneath of what we just passed by first. Oh, and then we have this over oh. here. Huh. Is that really it? Huh. Okay. You can't jump up and grab right now. Okay, well, let's let's see what the exit leads to. It just leads to another ribcage, shrunken head, little shrine thingy. Intriguing. Alright. Well, this is what people made to check out, so there we go. We got the, the metallic bidon. And we went through our little weird cave system here. There's nothing else around here, right? I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing out what you guys wanted me to check out here, but I don't really see anything out there in the freaky rib cage. There you guys have it. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, if you want me to continue playing this, just give me a couple of ideas and tips because I've run out of, like, things to do. I think, like, we're pretty much set to survive however long we have to. I'm just kind of waiting for content, but I will continue to check places out if you guys leave me some ideas. So definitely do so if you want to see some more. Hope you guys are enjoying the series still. I will catch you next time.